Hi everyone, back again with your boy Sirius and another night or review. Yeah, today we are looking at one of the very beloved anime movies that has just been released recently, which is the Demon Slayer movie, the Mugen Train, or the Infinite Train if you like to say it as well. The new Demon Slayer movie is a direct sequel from the same series that we've seen a few years ago. Yes, it is a canon, yes it is adapted from the next chapters after the first season ended, and it is probably one of the few anime movies that is made as the continuation of its main story, which really rocks. Demon Slayer movie Mugen Trains tell a story of Tanjiro, Genitsu, Enosuke, and also Nezuko who is sent in a mission to help Rengoku inside of a train that is suspected to have demons inside it. All that they must do now are to protect all the passengers life and to extinguish all the demons once and for all. So with that all being said, let's just jump into the review, here we go! By the way, did you know that this movie was so good that it broke the box of this record of animated film since the masterfully spirited away from decades ago? So much so that the guy who made it, Hayao Miyazaki, has now considered it this movie and the rest of its universe as his rival. What a blast, right? Anyway, back to the story. Yes, this movie is good. It's great and so much fun. Everything that is presented in this movie is very awesome. Yes, Rengoku is the golden heart of this film. Yes, the action scenes in this film are unarguably jaw-dropping. And yes, this film is very emotional as fuck. Like, I cry like a baby in the end. <laughs> By the way, um, back again. One thing that I really praise about this movie is that the story that they must continue after the first season resume is rather short for a movie scale, but they knew it from the start and because it is short, they have the much more freedom to embrace what's already on the table to the fullest. Did you realize that this movie mainly takes place in only one day and one night? This movie does feel quick but never in a bad way. The movie is still constructed in a very careful and intriguing way, so despite it has a very short story material, everything in this movie still made a lot of sense and never felt rushed. However, in a way I do feel and understand if some people feel a bit unsatisfied with the movie because the movie isn't cinematically immersive enough. It does not give you the same experience of watching like any type of anime movie where you kinda get sucked in into a whole new world and get on with the roller coaster. This is probably because the story material were never written as a movie in the first place. It was originally just a couple of chapters of a manga. I really respect that they followed the manga and didn't change anything, but instead they embraced it. I really agree with that, I really love that. But in this case, I kind of want the studio just do a few tiny bit of different things like setting up Enmu as a villain like up properly and better and setting up how Akaza arrive at the end to extinguish all the demon slayers. Rest in peace, Rengoku. Like watching 1917 where that movie also has a very minimum of characters and not so much big scale of the story and the story took place in a very short of times but still filled with a very entertaining and intriguing narrative. I know they both are very unrelated but I just like to mention it to give you what it really feels like watching the Demon Slayer movie. And I really love this film, it made my heart move and touch. I feel grateful to kind of feel and receive this wonderful and burning energy during these hard times. Even though they aren't real in this world, but they are real in my heart. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's just rank up this baby now. Demon Slayer The Mugen Train gets a 92% hooray! 
Itu saja sekian. Terima kasih. Itu saja. Sampai jumpa. Goks. Bye bye. Oh.